Now it's time for Paul Thorat to show us what he's got in Berlin. Yeah, I don't have any app picks today, but I do have three tips, I guess. Tips are good. Yeah. So last week, um, we started a promotion on my website, which I normally wouldn't use as a tip, but I think this one's going to be of interest to people. Um, we're doing it in tandem with uh, Xamarin, obviously. Um, it's called the Xamarin Challenge. And the idea is that uh, they want people to, t uh, to you know, kind of be confronted by their tool set now that they have in Visual Studio 2017 and learn how to create mobile apps that run across platforms. So you can create mobile apps that run on Windows 10, Android, and iOS, all in the same solution inside of Visual Studio. And the cool thing about this is um, we're going to be giving away two Surface Studios. So all you have to do is complete the challenge. You'll be entered to win. And, you know, why not do it? And it's it's it, it, it's a challenge. Like The word challenge is probably appropriate, but there's not a lot of, like, or there isn't any really, like, you, you don't have to invent, like, software code. You just have to follow some steps and create the project and improve it over time and so forth. So I've actually completed the first of the three steps. I probably would have completed the whole thing by now, but I've been, you know, I've been traveling. So um, to find this, really, to find this, <laughs> to find this, to find this promotion that I'm promoting, um, <laughs> just go to, I'm sorry, xamarinchallenge.throughout.com and, uh, and register. And obviously you need Visual Studio 2017. It's free, right? You can use the community version um, and you can, you know, learn Xamarin, which is awesome. And this is a, a weird coincidence for me, by the way. I, I, I think I've spoken a bit about the developer stuff I've been doing over the past year or so, um, I was using Android Studio to work on uh, Android apps of the second half of 2016. I actually switched back to the Microsoft stuff at the beginning of this year. I went through some of the Bob Tabor stuff. I've got more of that to do. And I literally was just looking at, you know, I, I think one of the tips I had a few weeks ago was if you got Visual Studio the first week it was out, you got a few free months of Xamarin University, which I've been doing. Um, I've looked at some of the uh, the Microsoft Virtual Academy uh, courses they have on Xamarin uh, mobile development as well. And other people at my company made this happen. I had nothing to do with it. So it's it's kind of an interesting coincidence. Um, so I'm doing it as well. Although uh, I should say I, I can't win the Surface Studio. So you don't have to worry about that part of it. Um, so if you're a developer or even you know a student or whatever, or you want to be a developer, I think this is a cool thing to try. Um, it's really, really interesting. So... Check that out. That's uh, xamarinchallenge.therot.com. Um, and then two, and you're going to do it, right? But you just can't win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I'm really this. doing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looks like fun. Yeah, it's neat. It, seriously, everyone should do this. I want to really, try. It. I'll do it. I'll do it. <laughs> yeah. Not that I want to yeah. win a Surface Studio. I'll recuse myself yeah. of the prize too. I'll just do it for fun. No, no, you don't have to recuse yourself. It's a, it's a, it's a challenge. <laughs> it's a challenge. <laughs> it's, a challenge. It. it's a hard. I have no chance of winning, so that's okay. Yeah. Well, no, well, you literally do have a chance of winning. That's the point. Oh, yes, <laughs> so, that's true. Right. Um, you have to, but you have to complete the challenge. Uh, complete the challenge. There are three steps. So I've done, I've done the first of the three. 